Hello everybody, Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates here coming back at you with a little product review type of thingy. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I am doing spectacular for the most part. Still a little keto fluish. I'm keep looking over here because there's a bug. Looks like a great big ant crawling on the wall. Hawaii, right? probably won't kill me. Let's hope not. Okay, so today we are talking about the products I got from the Russian... Oh, it flies too. Of course, it's going to fly towards me now that I've said it. Oh my god. Russian shop on Etsy called Mir Krestikom. And hopefully I will remember to spell that out down in a subtitle down below so that... um. You can read it. I will be putting the link, of course, in the description box below. So this is the um, woman, her name is Paulina, who reached out to me before I had my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, and we worked out kind of a deal for you guys and a deal for me. Um, I got my shipment, my parcel on Monday, that is August 5th. She shipped it on July 24th, so it took from the 24th, and I'm not sure I don't remember now what part of Russia she's in. Not that it matters. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so it, she shipped it on July 24th and it reached me on August 5th. So I think that's not too bad, right? Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through them. One of them I have opened. The one that I, I'm going to start, you know, as a work project. Um, and I've pulled out some fi fabric and I want you guys to help me with the fabric. And then the other one I haven't really looked at at all besides the, I have an, oh, oh, I did open it and kind of look in it a little bit, but I haven't looked at it in any depth. So I will be um, exploring it with you. Now the package, the two charts, it, kits, they're not charts, they're kits, came in this mailer thing. I haven't the faintest idea what that says, of course. Um, I should have asked Mike, he knows Russian, um, or he did know Russian quite well. It's faded a bit, but anyways, it's a nice little folder um, tied with a kind of a little bit of a um, twine here. So it protected the, uh, the kits a little bit from any rough and tumble. It was also in, you know, a bubble wrap mailer as well. So that is good. So this is the first one I got. Is that gorgeous? And I have to tell you, I sent her a list. She asked me what I wanted, and it took me several days. Um, she has a pretty good inventory on her site. There is a lot to choose from, and like all the different Russian kit makers, designers, she has some presence of, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, and everything from more classical to more whimsical. So there's a wide range of of kits to get from there. And I think they are all kits. I think she might also have diamond painting. I'm not 100% sure. I wasn't paying attention to the diamond, diamond painting, of course, since I don't do it. Um, but anyways, I looked through everything and made a list of like seven or eight different ones. I didn't know how much she wanted me to have. So I just sent her this list and I said, you choose from it what you want me to get have and she did send me and let me know what she was sending me um so two out of those and this is the first one so pretty now um excuse me while i put my glasses on so i'm not squinting the entire time of course it's all in russian but i don't know from the um Oh, Elisa. Okay, I was going to say, I don't know from the different contact I've had with different Russian kit makers up to this point, whether I've come across this one. There's a lot of them that I'm more familiar with, and this one I don't think I've seen. Now, it is mostly in Russian, but it does say down here, and actually, let me go ahead and take it out of the plastic so there's not that glare. It is pouring down rain now. Well, it was. Maybe it just stopped. Maybe it's drizzling now. I don't know. Hawaii again. Um, 
we are still getting some effects of the tropical depression heading north of us, but it, it it's mostly been rain. There hasn't even been any wind. So disappointing. All right, so it does have the name of the, um, I guess, designer and licensor down there in English. And then, let's see, pretty much all the rest of this, the email and the website are in English, but the rest of this is in Russian. So, isn't that gorgeous though? So pretty. All right, so, of course these do come with Ada and I will be switching those out. So I will be starting to collect Ada again to give away at some point. Um, I believe it is a 14 count Ada seems to be fairly good quality. So the kit came well, like this. It has the flosses. The flosses all are on a card. There's another card of floss over here with the Ada and then the pattern. So that's kind of what I pulled out of the package. Let me unwrap this here. So there is, I mean, this is a fairly, oh, of course I just dropped one of the things of floss. It's good to have talented feet. So it is a fairly good size piece of Ada. Like I said, I think this is a 14 count. And there is a needle attached in there. Lots of pretty floss. Now the, um, the title page says this is all gamma. And of course, I don't know what gamma is, but it's not DMC. It's, it may be a Russian, particular Russian type of cotton thread. Here's the threads. Lots of the, the whites and creams, of course because all of the poppies. All of the um, background though, is half stitches. So that at least will go fairly quickly. Oh, and look, the sun's shining. <laughs> um, yeah, but lots of whites and creams and, and beiges in this. So that is the flosses. Now, I would say they are rougher than um, DMC. It doesn't have the same soft hand as DMC. Will that bother me? Nah. Will it prevent me from stitching it? Nah. It's interesting because the reason I'm still petting it is because, so when I went like this, it felt rougher and maybe it's the white, the undyed white. But I mean, when you, when I'm running my hands down one of the single, the single um, strands, I guess, it doesn't feel particularly rough. It's just like this felt kind of rough, but that is that. So it had in it a little kind of basics sheet, all in Russian, of course, but it's just showing you how to pull your strands out, um, the basic stitching, how to um, run your thread underneath the stitches in the back, running stitch, back stitch, how to form the cross stitch. So even though you don't know, there's a knot here. I'm not sure what that is. So even though you don't know Russian, I mean, when you're familiar enough with cross stitch, you can tell what they're saying. Now the chart. So one of my, and I'm not, I'm, I'm going to show you some of this. I won't show you much of it though. Um, one of my, what I consider must have pieces of a chart is, um, <coughs> excuse me, or I guess I would say must have information on a chart, is the stitch count. 
Now granted, when they're doing these kits, they're pretty much assuming that people are going to be using the fabric provided, which is fine. But I dare say there's enough people out there that might switch the fabric up. And I just think it's part of the necessary information on a pattern to provide the stitch count. So let's see, glasses on. <clears throat> So we have the size of the pattern in centimeters, which is fine, and both in Russian and in English. Not that the English is any different except for the title of the pattern, right? Like poppies. All right. The symbols are a nice size. Like I said, I'm not gonna show you much. It's a, it's a nice, um, fairly large print pattern which I like. It has a little asterisk here. Oh, okay. So, here at the top of the color list, so we have crosses with two strands, crosses with one strand, and then a cross, a half cross with two strands and a half cross going the other way with one strand, I guess. And the one, the one half cross with, it actually looks like three strands in that one with the asterisk above it. So you can see how there's these little tails so you can see what they're using. Now it has down here an explanation of the asterisk, both in Russian and in English, and it says to embroider in the direction of the upper stitches of crosses. So I guess that's telling you with those three strands, even though you're doing only doing a half cross, you're going to do it in the direction of what the way your upper part of your X, your upper leg, the direction it usually goes. <clears throat> so yeah, for me, the bottom goes, my bottom goes bottom left to upper right, and my top goes bottom right to upper left. All right, so that makes sense. And so the other half cross is basically the bottom, the direction of the bottom leg. So I think that's why they're making that distinction. Beside it being half, um, being three strands instead of two strands. <clears throat> So there are blended threads. Now this is interesting. I've never say, seen this way to blend before or seen it described this way, I guess, or actually written out. So most of these blended threads are what you would normally think of blended threads, right? You have one strand of one color, one strand of the other color, you thread your needle with both of them, and you stitch with both of them. But this particular one, it has the bottom leg being one color and the top leg being the other color. So that's getting much more detailed in blended threads than what I've seen before. The um, paper is kind of like the shiny, the shiny paper that a lot of patterns are stitched on. It is, you know, a fairly good size pattern. Um, so this is one that I will definitely, well, like everything, right? I'll probably take pictures of it and then may try get, to get it into um, Knit Companion as PDFs. Um, so I can hook them all together. This is gonna be a gorgeous piece to work on. Maybe I'll start this one instead because I need another large full coverage piece. <laughs> all right, so um, I would say there is, oh, so stitch count, yeah, no stitch count. And in addition, there are no numbers on the graph on the chart for me to be easily able to count. Oh, look, okay, over here, that's 220. 
you know? So, it's not like it's impossible to figure it out. It's just a nice thing for designers to do. All right, so that is that one. The second one, like I said, I have opened this one because this is the one that I'm going to play with a little bit. Isn't that adorable? Look how cute all those sheep are. I love this. So this is called, let me see if they have the title in Russian, or in, in Russian. <laughs> yes, they do have it in Russian. I've established that fact. Oh my God. Let's try English. Sheep is a symbol of humility, patience, and kindness. Oh, it's actually called Dreamers. I assume that's the name of the pattern. And then down here, it says that little statement. Sheep is a symbol of humility, patience, and kindness. Who knew? <laughs> I don't think sheep are the most patient animals in the world, actually. Um, yeah, so once again, this comes with Ada. I will be switching that out. They do have the stitch count on here. 129 by 88. And they do have it in Russian and English. Finish size. Oh, and they have the finish size in both centimeters and inches. So I like that. This is a kit by Panna. Or it recommended by Panna. So whatever that means. It's cute is what that means. The other thing I like about this is it has all the information inside in, what is it, six languages? Russian, English, German, French, Spanish, and Italian. So that is pretty cool. All right, so what comes in this? <clears throat> As I said, Ada with the needle. Oh, and for this one, the chart is actually printed <clears throat> on the back of the title page. Just different symbols here I'm trying to understand. Um, and the center of the chart is already, I'm just gonna show it real quick. I'll show back here. You can see it back here. The center of it on the fold is already showing some wear and tear. So this one will definitely get um, photographed. I don't copy them, mostly because our, our copy printer is, is old and crotchety. <laughs> and it's just easier for me to take a picture and then if I want to print it out, I can or I can just put it into Knit Companion. So this one will definitely need to have, um, have working copies made lickety split. Okay, so like I said, everything is in six different languages. The English said, says, the kit contains Gamma Ada Fabric K16. So I guess that's the count. Gamma cross stitch needle, Gamma stranded cotton on a loaded organizer, color chart and embroidery instructions. The size of the work given includes framing allowances. So I assume that means um, this down here, the, well, that's the finished size. So, I don't know. So inside we have some papers, just regular printer paper. This is on the shiny paper like a lot of charts are. So we have the color, the, the, the thread card, um, and they give a little bit of an explanation. So you have like these uh, column headings here and down below they tell you again in all, all the different languages um, what they mean but again if you've been stitching for a while you're pretty much going to know okay we're making an X here this is the color this is the number of strands or this is the symbol this is the number of strands and that's probably the color name so there are some blended threads that they give you information on down here. It is not um, the kind of 
one leg one color, one leg the other color. It's the more standard blended and then the back stitch. On the back of that is just some business information. And then they have a couple of sheets that are like, again, the whole basics of how to find your center, what, it, what um, equipment to use, how to pull your floss out, how to start the needle, how to thread the needle. Um, don't do long stitches. <laughs> I thought that was cute. And then a little bit of more like how to wash it, um, how to make the X, and then a little bit of information on a, some, yeah, some specialty stitches, how to bead, how to back stitch, um, how to make a blended or a, a quarter stitch and half stitch and all of that. And actually, I saw that question just the other day on one of the Facebook groups. How do you know what to use if you're making quarter stitches and all that? How do you know what to use where? And a lot of charts are this explicit, but not all of them are. So, and again, all of this is in all of the different languages. So that's very cool. All right. So, I don't know how much I'm actually going to do on this, but I am going to start it and play with it a little bit, play with the threads a little bit, and I'll let you know what I think um, at some video here down the road. But, I didn't show you the threads for this, did I? All right, so like they said, the threads are loaded on an organizer already. So that's nice. Now, the question is what fabric to use? So I learned my lesson in the not too distant past that when you have blended threads, it's best to pick fabric that you can use two strands on. So that piece of 36 count, I'm not showing you. All right. I've already measured all of these to make sure they're the size I need. Some of them are 32, some of them are 28. This one is the fabric that I did my linen and threads band sampler on, the 2017 one. And I'm really kind of liking this one. It has like a very faint pink modeling. And of course, all the colors really stand out on it. So there's that one. This is a 32 count. At first I was thinking to get like a bluish background, but um, I'm also kind of liking the idea of a more neutral, maybe rustic background. I'm not sure that one thrills me though. Now this next piece is, um, one that I call more rustic. It has much bigger slubs in the linen. I believe it is a 28 count. Oh, it's a 32. And it's kind of a pink with some cream modeling on it. And I really like this one too. up here. I'm really liking that one. I have a couple other kind of raw linen ones. 
One is a 32 count, one is a 28 count. No, I think I think it'd be nice on one of the raw linens. Definitely a different look. I'm not sure that the style, because of course we think of the raw linen as being more of a primitive look, and this style definitely isn't primitive, right? We're talking whimsical to the max. <laughs> but you know, the raw linen, I think sheep, you know, farm. It does have an interesting look. Now the background of this is, um, this is all half stitches as well. And it's hard to tell. I guess the sheep are all full cross stitches. It's hard to tell since so many of them are white. Um, but the background, the moon is all full cross stitches too. The background's all half stitches and then there's some areas like, you know, the half stitches kind of go like this. So the fabric will be showing through. So this says more like barn to me. <laughs> then we have, this is, where's the tag? This is, um, Monet Blue, 28 count. I don't know what the company is. But I was thinking maybe a blue, a grayish blue might be pretty. That doesn't thrill me as much as some of the other ones, but I think it would be pretty. And we have kind of a yellowy straw look. I think that's pretty too. Yeah, I like that one. This is a 28 count. And then this one is the mottled cream. I think it's like a vintage mocha or cafe vintage mocha, something like that. I don't have a tag on it. And that's okay. I mean, the light colors certainly make the the colors pop, but I don't know, I don't know whether it'd be pretty or not. So anyways, let me know what you think. My favorites are definitely this gold one. The pinkish one. or the cream one. So how about if we just narrow it down to those three? Or let me know, let, let me know what you think of the raw linen ones. Um, Cause yeah, I'd like your opinion on that. What that says to you. So I think that is it. So she is offering a 10% off. She, there's a coupon code that you will use 10% um, off anything in her store. I will have all the information down below the code and all the, in the link and all that. Um, the, the coupon is good through the end of August, August 31st. Um, she does offer free shipping for orders of $70 or more. And I think that's it. I hope you will give her some business if you're so inclined. I like the fact that it's on Etsy because, you know, a lot of us have shopped on Etsy, we're comfortable with it, and the tra transactions go very smoothly. And then you kind of have a backup if, um, if for some reason something doesn't arrive. But I've never had any problem with any Etsy shop in any way, shape, or form. So, um, and I, I think she has been there for quite a while. She has quite a few sales, so I think that's good. I did have one of my viewers go ahead and, um, well, she's already sent off the prize package to the person, but I also had somebody um, make a purchase from her already. They did have a bit of a hiccup with the coupon code. She emailed Paulina and Paulina immediately took care of it and fixed the problem and um, yeah, refunded her the difference for the, the coupon. 
So um, very proactive and um, very, very sweet, nice to work with, um, easy to get in touch with all the things. So I recommend you go and check her out. Like I said, there is a ton of gorgeous kits to choose from. All right, guys, so I am out for today. Tomorrow, no video, but Friday, Friday, we're back with a stitch with me. And so far, I think back stitching on the mushrooms, I think it's a tie at this point between back stitching on the mushrooms or pulling out my chatelaine and working on that some. So keep letting me know, I'm keeping track. All right, guys, have a great day and I will talk to you Friday. Bye-bye.